Would you toss old worn out tires into the ocean? Hopefully not, but new research says that's what we're doing in a stealthy secondhand way. In 2014, environmental toxicologist John Weinstein went looking for microplastics in Charleston Harbor. Then everywhere we looked within the harbor, we found microplastics. Not surprising. Charleston's metro area surrounds the harbor. But this was a surprise. There are lots of rubbery black fragments in all of our samples that we collected. And in some places within Charleston Harbor, 90% of all the microplastics were these black rubbery fragments. Five years of scientific detective work confirmed that these microscopic particles came from tires. If you were looking at a sample um, with the naked eye, you wouldn't, it would just look like a clean water sample. You wouldn't even see these particles. Every time you accelerate, brake, turn a corner, or just drive down the road, friction and abrasion tear off tiny bits of your tires. Instead of wearing out, it's more like tires wear off. Weinstein says each year, an estimated two million tons of tire particles, a form of microplastic, are produced in the U.S. alone. But potential effects on wildlife and humans are largely unknown. So Weinstein is feeding tire particles to grass shrimp, a common Charleston Harbor resident and omnivore. And what makes them nice to study from a uh, lab perspective is they're transparent, so you can actually follow the particles from the point they're ingested all the way out. Tire particles don't kill grass shrimp immediately, but remain in their gut far longer than real digestible food. The residence time increases from that two to four hours all the way to up to about 70 or 80 hours. So like other microplastics, tire particles could cause malnutrition in grass shrimp and other sea life. Tires also contain carbon black and aromatic hydrocarbons, compounds that may cause cancer in humans. And one of the things I wonder about is if a human were to ingest tire particles from a food source like an oyster or a clam, and that then went into their gut, would these aromatic hydrocarbons leach out? And if they did leach out, would they be absorbed? And if they were absorbed, would that increase risks for, for example, cancer? Solutions won't come easy. But in 2020, Weinstein's team will see how stormwater treatment systems might be modified to capture tire particles before they're washed into waterways.